Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down the potential for a winter storm. This will stretch from the southern plains back through the northeast United States and this could bring multiple inches of snow anywhere from Texas and Oklahoma all the way back through New Hampshire and Maine. In addition to this we're watching for the threat of severe weather in the Midwest today. I know it sounds crazy there's actually a chance for a couple of tornadoes large hail and damaging winds will be breaking that down for you in this forecast as well in addition to that i do want to mention we might go live for that tonight so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel let's get started though with what's happening across the united states today and we will begin with this system that's back over in the midwest and this particular storm right now is moving to the east and is a low pressure system that's right now located over southern minnesota this is going to move toward the midwest over the next several hours and during the afternoon hours we're mostly going to be watching for some showers during the early afternoon but later today Today, once there's enough moisture and instability we could easily see a few severe storms today and in addition to this we do have enough low level shear for there to be the potential for severe weather and we'll have a more detailed breakdown on the timing and risks here in just a few minutes now back down in the southern plains we do have moisture continuing to stretch from the pacific ocean back through the southern plains and we will be watching for this trough that's right now located back over nevada california and as well as arizona what this storm will do as we go into the weekend is bring the potential for severe weather in addition to a threat for a winter storm in the southern plains back through the southeast and eventually through parts of the ohio valley and as well as into the northeast this could easily dump several inches of snow anywhere from texas and oklahoma back through the northeast we'll have a detailed breakdown on that here in just a few minutes in addition to this this will also bring some colder weather to the southern tier of the united states so the winter feeling will return for some areas at least for a brief stint now let's talk more about the weather pattern that's coming to the united states over the next several days in terms of the temperatures and to look at that we're going to check out the temperature anomalies these give us an idea of the temperatures from average across the united states so any of the red that you see on the map that's representing above average temperatures and then blue would be below average this is what we're currently looking at we do have a low pressure system back up in the northern plains this is leaving a lot of warmer air across the midwest and the ohio valley and back through the northeast and again that is not something we want to see for this time of the year a lot of you want snow but instead we're talking about record-breaking high temperatures but once we go into this weekend, things will change a little bit. This low pressure system will move to the east. That's going to allow for a little cool down across the northern plains in the Midwest. I would honestly consider this as a bit more of a big cool down because many areas in the Midwest will go from the 60s into the 30s for highs. And then eventually even lows could drop into the 20s in some areas. And once we go later into the weekend, so by Saturday into Sunday, notice there will be a large cold air mass developing over the Rocky Mountains. This will move into the southern plains and as well as the central plains as we go into late Sunday. That will allow for the potential for some snowfall in areas like Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. Unfortunately, if you're back down to like central or north Texas, this cold air is going to probably arrive too late for you to actually see any snow. But with that being said, you'll at least see some colder weather after all the cold rain is done. Once we go into Monday, that low pressure system moves to the north and east through the Ohio Valley. That cold air will follow behind it, but it's not going to be very intense or very large by the time it gets to the northeast. In fact, we're only going to be just slightly below average in the northeast as we go into tuesday and eventually by wednesday into thursday we might get some arctic air developing back up in canada but there's just so much uncertainty right now anywhere past about a week out from now so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to the channel we'll keep you posted with the latest if any arctic blasts end up materializing by the way these are the temperatures for this afternoon notice mid to upper 50s low 60s across the midwest that is record-breaking territory for many of those areas cool down will arrive somewhat tomorrow if you're in the upper midwest but as we go into saturday into sunday much more definitive cool down many areas will drop into the 30s and maybe even some low 40s for high temperatures both Saturday and Sunday and then once we go into Monday into Tuesday that warm air will be sitting back down in the southeast and that cold air will start to stretch across areas in the Ohio Valley and back through the northeast as we head into Monday climate prediction center on board with this forecast in addition to that they do have a forecast from Thursday of next week until Wednesday of the following week and most of the United States will be dealing with below average temperatures again big question mark whether we see some sort of Arctic blast back up in the northern plains that drops through the united states that is a big uncertainty point so still a big question mark there but regardless below average temperatures in the forecast for much of the country or at least a high likelihood of that as we go into late next week into the following week all right let's talk more about the potential for a winter storm in addition to the severe weather potential we're going to break that all down for you here in the next few minutes beginning with today again we have that low pressure system back up in the northern plains this is actually bringing snow right now to areas in north and south dakota and back through montana 
And then we also have some snow back through areas in the Rocky Mountains, back into Utah, and as well as Arizona. That will be the system, by the way, that's going to bring the threat for a winter storm from the southern plains back through the northeast. Once we go into early Friday, that low pressure system moves to the north and east. We'll be watching for a few showers, maybe a few thunderstorms from Arkansas back through Tennessee tomorrow afternoon. Once we go into Saturday, a small little shortwave trough will move across the central plains into the Midwest. That'll bring a few showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms from the Midwest back through areas in Arkansas. That'll also be interesting to watch. We might get some sort of very conditional severe weather threat out of that particular storm. By the time we go into Saturday, notice showers and storms begin to fire off across the Gulf Coast, back through areas in the southern plains. This will ramp up as we go into Sunday evening, some light to moderate rain across areas in the Dixie Alley, but the big event will start late Saturday night into Sunday morning. That'll be this low pressure system that develops, again, coming from the Rocky Mountains in the southwest of the United States. It'll move through the southern plains, and what we'll need to watch for is a couple of different things. One will be the snow potential back through Arizona and as well as back through New Mexico into the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma. In addition to that, we need to watch for the threat of an isolated severe storm or two with the eastern side of this trough as it moves through East Texas and as well as Louisiana going into Sunday. This is by lunchtime. Notice that snow continues across the Texas Panhandle in Oklahoma, and this will really stay moderate to heavy for many areas all the way through the afternoon and evening hours before that snow starts to move through central Oklahoma, eventually into far northwestern Arkansas and the higher elevations and into southern Missouri. Eventually, as we go into Monday morning, that snow moves into Illinois, Indiana, perhaps even into Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and eventually into the northeast United States, where things become a bit more uncertain on exactly where this snow will fall, how heavy it'll be, and how much snow you'll exactly see. But one thing we do know for certain is that there is definitely at least a 50-50 chance, I would say, of there at least being a few inches of snow in parts of the central and northern New England region, back through central and northern New York, and as well as Pennsylvania. But again, the uncertainty remains in exactly how much snow you'll see, and it really is because of the track of this. If it goes further up here to the north and east, that'll mean that there'll be a lot less snow in New England. If it goes more out here to the east and south, we'll definitely see a lot more snow in New England, in addition to much of the northeast. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, we'll keep you posted with the latest as this storm evolves. Now this is the probability of seeing greater than one inch of snowfall across the United States out of this particular storm. This gives you a good idea of what the likelihood or unlikelihood of you seeing any sort of wintry precipitation. So this is Sunday. Notice right now we have about an 80 to 90 percent chance across the Texas Panhandle back into central Oklahoma of seeing greater than one inch of snowfall. This is almost double the percent chance we had yesterday on the European Ensemble. So the likelihood is definitely increasing. It's not 100 percent yet, so it doesn't definitely mean you're going to see a lot of snow in terms of at least greater than one inch of snow, but it's actually increasing across these areas. And then once we go throughout Tuesday or really Monday into Tuesday, we'll be looking at at least right now a 50 to 60 percent chance across Illinois, Indiana, even some areas in southern Missouri right now sitting at around an 80 percent chance. And then back through the northeast, the European Ensemble giving a good 80 percent chance for much of the New England area like New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. I would say it's closer to a 60 to 65 percent chance just due to the fact there is still some uncertainty on the track. Once we know more about that tomorrow, I think we'll have a better at least viewpoint on how much snow there will at least be up there. This is the early estimates from the European model in terms of total snowfall accumulation. Again, take this with a grain of salt. We're still a few days out. Things could change. But right now, the European model giving a good idea that there will be a widespread two to four inches of snow across Oklahoma. The Texas Panhandle, anywhere from four to eight inches of snow would be in the potential picture here. And then back into southern Missouri and northwest Arkansas, many of those areas between one to three or two to four inches of snowfall. Back through areas in the lower Midwest and the Ohio Valley, I'll notice that the total amount of snowfall that's being estimated to fall by the European model is way lower than the southern plains areas in Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio between a coating to two inches of snow. So definitely a lot less snow in those areas. But again, there could be some changes to that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now here's the threat of severe weather for tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, which yes, is today. We do have a marginal threat of severe weather in southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. That does include the Chicago and Chicago suburbs. The main concern for today is isolated damaging winds isolated large hail and perhaps an isolated tornado or two that risk could get upgraded to slight if there's enough moisture and instability in place later today that is something that the storm prediction center will consider later today here's the timing starting with three o'clock this afternoon we have some showers right along the great lakes those will be moving to the east storms will fire up around five o'clock across parts of central and northern illinois these could quickly become severe if we have enough instability and if there is enough moisture by around six those storms are moving toward the chicago suburbs by seven 
7 to 8, they're moving across the Great Lakes. This severe weather event will last maybe two hours or so, but we are planning on going live if there are any tornado warnings, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. We'll keep you posted with the latest. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.